Hi Libra, this is your June 17th through the 23rd weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at new love entering your life. In the second spread we'll check in with those of you who are already in a relationship or married. After that in the third spread we'll see if anybody wants to get back together with you. In the fourth spread we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and uh, we'll wrap things up with what you're not expecting to happen this week spread. Please like, comment and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week, uh, Libra. We have the Tower, clarified by the Ace of Swords. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Then we have the Seven of Swords, clarified by the Empress. In the potential outcome, we have the Star with the Knight of Cups and the Lovers. And we also have the Fool on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing mm, maybe with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We also have Aquarius, um, Gemini and Aries, and uh, Taurus. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's the deal, Libra. First of all, let me mention that I think I lost count as to how many times I said wow as I was pulling the cards. The tower showed up right away and that's that was the first time I said wow. Then right next to it showed up the Ace of Pentacles. That was another wow. And then all of a sudden that Seven of Swords showed up. I said wow once more. And the Seven of Swords is clarified by the Empress. And I, I think I just kept saying wow and at, at that point I think I lost count. Okay? <laughs> so here, here's what's going on. The Tower. Could be a Scorpio you're dealing with. But the Tower in this case is something that happens very, very unexpectedly. Alright, the tower is paired with that Ace of Swords, it's clarified by the Ace of Swords, and we also have the Fool on the bottom of the deck, and we also have that Ace of Pentacles, right? So in the beginning of the trading, we have the tower with two aces, with two aces, and the Fool on the bottom of the deck. So the tower is when things, like I said, happen very unexpectedly. It could be like a change of plans, perhaps you have a plan for this day, for this week, for this weekend, and uh, when this offer shows up, when this person shows up with this offer, all those plans can fly out the window, right? As a matter of fact, you may even tell your friends, you may even tell the people you have plans with that uh, you're doing something else or you feel under the weather, what have you, but in reality you will be spending time with this person. <laughs> yep, that's how I hope that Seven of Swords will play out, but we'll get to it in just a second, right? So, Tower clarified by the Ace of Swords. With the Ace of Swords, somebody's going to be very upfront, very straightforward with you. They may tell you, hey, you want to get out of here? And you'll most likely say yes. Hey, you want to go fly out to Vegas? Or hey, you want to you wanna do this? You want to do that? You want to come with me? Um, and or something like, hey, over the weekend I'm gonna try, I don't know, surfboarding, or I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna try that. Would you like to come with me? And uh, you will most likely say yes. All right, this person will ca capture your interest from the get go. Something about this person, maybe this person is like a risk taker. Okay, <laughs> one of those people, but I do see you going for it. I think you yourself will know from the get-go, from the beginning, that this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, right? Because the Ace of Pentacles right next to the tower is, um, is exactly that, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It's a golden opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles. You know, this Ace always talks about long-term. The Fool is a, could be an Aries, you know, but the Fool is a card of being spontaneous, taking a leap of faith jumping head first and I think that's what you're doing when this person uh, sh kind of shocks you kind of shocks you with this offer okay in the middle we have the seven of swords clarified by the empress the empress is one of your major arcana cards Libra that's you <laughs> you're clarifying the seven of swords the seven of swords is a card of deception okay but in this case I think this is what's happening with those plans. You may have plans with other people and you'll tell them, oh, something came up or I feel under the weather. But in reality, you'll be spending time with this person. You could, it's like the Seven of Swords is like running away. All right? In the potential outcome, we have the Star with the Knight of Cups and the Lovers. Two major arcana cards, the Star and the Lovers. The Star could be an Aquarius, the Lovers could be a... Uh, Gemini, but the star is a card of a wish come true, something people usually wish for and hope for a very long time. And again, I think it will strike you pretty quickly, you realizing that this is a golden opportunity, it's a wish come true, perhaps you always wanted this particular person or someone like this person. 
right? The Knight of Cups in the middle of the potential outcome could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but this is the most romantic, the most loving night out of all four nights, the most caring night out of all four nights, all right? So this is what it's all about, love. <laughs> the lovers right next to that it could be a Gemini, it could be a card of a choice, but so late in the reading, when the lover shows up, maybe you're choosing a place where you want to live together, or maybe you're choosing your wedding venue, okay? But at the same time, the lovers, um, in my opinion, is the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. It really is. It could be, it's a soulmate card, it's a twin flame connection card, and it's also the lover of your life card. You see? Your life is about to change in an instant, Libra. I hope you're ready for this. I hope you're ready for this. But I'm really happy for you. Congratulations. If you are already in a relationship or married, uh, Libra, this card is for you. We have the world, the ace of swords, the two of ones clarified by justice. And uh, we also have the high priestess on the bottom of the deck. So something is coming to an end. But it's a happy end. I don't see any devastation. I don't see anybody struggling or crying themselves to sleep. No. <laughs> Nothing like that. Something is coming to an end and now you, you're going to be deciding, so what's next for me? What do I do next? Right? So let me, let me elaborate a little further. We have the world, the first card I came out. The world is a card of an ending, it's a major arcana card. But the thing about the world card, it's, it's a happy end card. A retirement would be a happy end. Graduation would be a happy end. You know, something else. You're, some, you're wrapping something up. You're finishing something and now you're done. Okay? That would be a happy end. <laughs> Maybe you're going to pay off your mortgage. That would be a happy end. Maybe your lease is coming to an end on your apartment, on your home, on your car. That's also a happy end. <laughs> right? And uh, there you are, the Justice card right next to the deck, that's your major arcana card, you're clarifying the two of ones, and now you have to decide what you want to do next, what you want to do now, right? Maybe you're renting a new place, maybe you're buying a new place, maybe you're getting a new car, maybe if you got, you just retired, you're thinking, what, what do I, where do I want to go, what do I want to do, and things like that. The Ace of Swords will give you clarity, okay? Or maybe with the, with the Ace of Swords, this is you deciding to end something that you, that's no longer serving you. Alright, so yeah, the High Priestess on the bottom of the deck is a card of intuition. So yeah, basically, um, rely on your own intuition. And uh, since this is a couple's reading, I'm sure it's going to be you and your person who, and uh, maybe the two of you together can brainstorm and uh, come up with the uh, solution. Alright? Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Libra, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be uh, the most recent. Next. We have the Three of Cups, the Page of Cups, clarifying it, the Ten of Cups, um, the Queen of Swords, and uh, the Sun on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with the Leo, maybe a fellow air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have a lot of water, so maybe Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, so here's, the, here's what's going on. The Queen of Swords right next to the deck, for most of you, it's you. Libra. <laughs> but for some of you, maybe this person is a Gemini and it's their birthday this week and uh, you're going to their birthday and that's where you could run into your ex. Okay? But uh, for most of you, the Queen of Swords, that's you. And you're still going to some kind of a celebration. Right? The Three of Cups, the first card I came out, is a card of a reunion or absolutely any type of an event. Any type of an event where people celebrate. The Page of Cups clarifying it. Uh, maybe an ex will reach out to you and tell you, hey, for the good old time's sake, why don't we go to this party or this event? Or, if you're going there by yourself, they could also be there. And with the Page of Cups, they'll approach you. Right? It's also a card of an apology, by the way. Right? The Ten of Cups... In the middle, uh, it is a card of a family, but it could also play out as a card of like a massive family-oriented celebration, such as a wedding, a baby shower, a housewarming party, an engagement party, what have you, right? And uh, on the bottom of the deck, we have the sun, could be a Leo, you're young, but the sun is the happiest card in the deck. This, is, this whole spread is really happy, actually. Right? I assume the people in the Three of Cups are happy because they're celebrating. The Ten of Cups is cold, the happily ever after card, and the Sun is the happiest card in the deck. Okay? <laughs> Alright, so, um, yeah. Um, it could, yeah, take it from there. Go to that event and uh, take it from there. Alright?
Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Libra, this week. We have the King of Pentacles, clarified by the Eight of Wands. We have the Moon, clarified by the Sun. Uh, then we have uh, the Queen of Swords, clarified by the uh, Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, a couple of Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Uh, we also have Pisces, and uh, we have Leo on the table. Um, so here's the deal. As you can see, we can have three court cards, right? Uh, I assume you're the Queen of Swords. I assume you, that's you. And I assume the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles are two other people. We do have three people on the table. But at the same time, I do not see anybody having to make a choice. So I don't think it's you choosing between two people or one of them is choosing between you and another person. It doesn't feel this way. It does feel like you're still waiting. Perhaps those two have to come up with some kind of a proposition or some kind of an offer. Or maybe you are making those people work <laughs> and you're waiting for the results. You're waiting for something. Perhaps there's even more people involved. All right. I don't see any competition either. All right. I don't see any competition. The Eight of Pentacles. I mean, the King of Pentacles is qualified by the Eight of Wands, all right? The Eight of Wands is a card of communication, back and forth communication. It's a card of negotiation. It's also a card of literally going somewhere. It's one of the fastest cards in the deck, all right? The Moon is qualified by the Sun. Those two are like polar opposite energies, right? The Moon is all about secrets, something hidden. And with the Sun card, things usually come out. People, you know, things usually come to the surface. All right, so maybe they are like deciding something and they will let you know. All right, or maybe it's you who is deciding and you will let them know. Or something along those lines, right? It's a bit of a com complicated spread, to be honest with you. You are clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, which is a card of waiting. You could be waiting to hear from them. You could be waiting for them to make a decision, to come up with some kind of a proposition. All right. Or again, maybe you've already done some work with those people and now all of you are waiting for the results. Okay. And the Seven of Pentacles is a good card. It's a good card. It's usually talk It usually talks about, you know, things that are almost there, almost there. <laughs> all right. Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Libra. We have the Six of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Emperor, clarified by the uh, Queen of Swords, and we also have the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, this, I think this spread has something to do with the previous spread, the Work, Business, and Finances spread. I think you're being promoted at work, or if you are hired, maybe they will hire you for even a higher position. Maybe you were applying for like a mid-range manager and they'll be like, you know what, um, from what we see, you could be like a senior manager, okay? Because <laughs> the Queen of Swords is called find the Emperor. The Emperor is a boss figure. The Emperor is the boss, all right? You're the boss. <laughs> you're the one in charge. You're the one in control, all right? The Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is a card of waiting. We saw this card in the previous spread, right? And uh, this is a different deck, by the way. I use different decks for different spreads. The Six of Wands, the first card I came out, is a card of victory, success. It's a card of recognition, being awarded, rewarded, promoted, hired, feeling good about yourself. The Ace of Swords often comes through as the word yes. All right. So, yeah. And uh, even though you, you're, you could still be waiting for it, but I think what you're waiting for, what, what will actually happen will exceed your expectation. Okay. Or maybe people will tell you, you need to take control, or you will assume control yourself, or something like that. You're the emperor, you're in charge, you're large in charge, <laughs> you're in control, you're the boss, and uh, that type of stuff. Alright, uh, Libra, so that's what I have for you, for this reading, for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it, please also comment and subscribe, and uh, other than that, Libra, have an amazing week.